table because these things are fragile. They're almost as, well, no. Yeah, they're almost as fragile as the Gundam model kits because this is a model kit. This took me a few hours to build. Every part of this you had to build and it take me longer to take them out of those stupid frames. Why couldn't they just come with the pieces already detached? They're too lazy to keep them in the frames and you have to cut them and you have to cut these like bumps off of them that was annoying uh... this is my most prized zoid and my only zoid that isn't totally like destroyed i have some that are broken in half broken into i, I don't even know but yeah this guy's awesome He he's awesome this guy is king. Grimlock is not king. He is king. Uh, he does have a cockpit. And I lost the guy that was in there. He was some ugly little kid anyway. So I don't really care. Uh, yeah, I'll show you his particle cannon mode. Flip those down because you don't want him to lose his stance because the particle cannon is so strong he might go flying back and kill some people and then you just open his mouth and I guess flip this back and then flip all his neck panels up for some reason and like flip his tail panels up and and uh something like that and then he'd be like I'm charging my laser yeah! Yeah. That that was Onage. It, it was like a Kamehameha coming out of a red dragon's mouth and disintegrating other giant robot animals. He kills more animals than Hubcat, and he is an animal. Hubcat, you just lost your title of animal killer because he just gained it. Geno Breaker, he doesn't just break genos, he breaks animals. He breaks anything he can find. And he, and he does have side cannons, and these things open up, and I don't forgot what they did, but let's open them up to see if they do. Oh, it's more cannons, yeah. Uh, he has armored legs. You don't want to mess with his leg. Like, if you chop his leg off, his leg will kill you. Like, just his leg could kill an army of 5,000 transformers. Yeah. Uh, and he could tail whip people. So, see? He did. Are you the alpha male? No, I am! Ah! Tail whipped. This guy just killed like three people right now in just one review. Th I think that's the most death I ever had. Okay. And if you think he wasn't heavily armored enough with this particle cannon, I'm charging my laser! Yeah! And 
shin, well not really on shins, uh, leg guns, you could put, uh, these things on him. Let's go do that. Okay, now how do these go on? Uh, this attaches to this somehow. Okay. Okay, I finally got them on. It only took me about three hours. Yeah, his leg fell off twice. His arms fell off like 20 times. Okay, uh, I'm glad. You should be glad you didn't have to watch that. Cause that, was, that was painful. So now he has claws of death. Even though they're too droopy to hold anything off, because they're too old. But, uh, you could just hold your hands like that and imagine that he's grasping someone and then throwing them. See? Yeah. Oh, that, that, that one actually held on. Now, you could release them to their death. See? He has giant claws like as if he wasn't heavily armored enough now he has uh, huge jet boosters uh, they can move up individually of themselves so they could go like that this guy is big look he, he would be like leader class size let's see uh lockdown See, Lockdown is taller than him, but look how much thicker and big he is. Lockdown has a new mod! Dinosaur Riding Lockdown! Yeah! I have to move my camera just to fit them in frame. Yeah, he's, he's big. He's big. Okay. Uh... He's red and red. He's mostly red and gray. I'm not sure if you had to paint these, but they sure put actual detail in them, unlike some people. Yeah. Uh, this is just huge. He can destroy anyone in his path. Like, falling off arm tank doesn't do it. just kicks it off. No, Ratchet, Ratchet, Ratchet gets particle cannon, yeah. No one could stand in his path. This guy, this guy is just, uh, a beast. Literally. Even the monkey doesn't have any effect on him. Look at this. Even the monkey has no effect on it. It just makes him lean back a little. No! Don't kill me! Ah! 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 Look at these crab claws. They're just beastly. Like, and you could fold them back in case he wanted to conceal them, you know. Like, if you're walking around, you wouldn't want your giant crab claws hanging out. And you could put these back down, because they don't look right <laughs> in their upright position. Geno Breaker, he is the... he's just the beast. Nope, no one, no one could... no one tops this guy. Like, in the sh even in the show, he was like... Like, no one could kill him. Like, everyone would try, and they like, team up five robotic animals on one, and he would just, like, grab some guys and then lift them up and then shoot them with his particle cannon, like so. Uh, let's see, we have, uh, we have some G.I. Joes. He'd go like, oh, no, don't blast me, God! Ah, my face! My face! Yeah. Uh... He was even ownage in the show. This guy is just a uh, beast. 
And one little thing before we go, he does have another backpack thing. Accessory thing. Wow. Okay. Uh you could put uh laser cannons on his back in case if he wanted to shoot down airplanes. He'd be like Doosh, 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 doosh. And then they'd be like, yeah. yeah. Um, I might be doing my other zoids, but this guy, he speaks for them all. Well, actually, he doesn't, cause he was the only cool one. I have other ones. I might do them, but I'll do Gundams. So. That was my video review of uh, Geno Breaker. And remember, Genos, beware.